The skies above Earth crackled with energy as a shimmering portal opened, heralding the arrival of an alien ship. Sleek and silver, it glided effortlessly through the atmosphere, its design both advanced and graceful. This was the Tulrak, the flagship of the Olinthar, a peaceful race known for their diplomacy and technological prowess. On board, Ambassador Thalivon observed the blue and green planet with curiosity and anticipation. Earth had long been a subject of fascination for the Olinthar, who had watched humanity's progress from afar. Unaware of the planet's recent descent into chaos, Thalivon prepared for what he hoped would be a historic moment of first contact. Prepare the landing module, Thalivon instructed his crew, a group of seasoned diplomats and scientists. Let us extend our hand in friendship. As the landing module detached from the Tolrak and descended towards the surface, Thalivon envisioned a warm welcome from Earth's inhabitants, their cultures rich with history and potential. Little did he know, the world he was about to step into was far from the one he had imagined. The landing module touched down in what was once a bustling metropolis, now a desolate wasteland. Skyscrapers lay in ruins, their glass facades shattered, and streets were strewn with debris. The air was thick with smoke, and an eerie silence hung over the city, broken only by distant echoes of conflict. Talivon and his team disembarked, their senses immediately assaulted by the stench of decay. This, this cannot be right, one of the scientists murmured, scanning the devastated landscape with a mixture of confusion and horror. Stay alert, Talivon cautioned, his diplomatic optimism waning in the face of stark reality. We need to understand what has happened here. As they ventured deeper into the city, the signs of humanity's downfall became painfully clear. Scavenged vehicles, makeshift barricades, and crude graffiti told a story of survival and savagery. The Olinthar had expected to find a society on the brink of great achievements. Instead, they found one teetering on the edge of extinction. It wasn't long before the Olinthar encountered the first signs of life. A group of ragged humans, eyes hollow with hunger and desperation, emerged from the shadows. Their clothes were tattered, their faces gaunt. They moved with a predatory grace, eyes fixed on the newcomers with a mixture of fear and curiosity. Talivontar raised his hand in a gesture of peace. Greetings, people of Earth. We come in friendship, seeking to learn and share with you. The response was not what he had hoped for. The humans snarled, baring their teeth in a manner more animalistic than civilized. One of them, larger and seemingly the leader, stepped forward, brandishing a makeshift weapon. Outsiders, he hissed, you don't belong here. Before Thalivon could react, the humans attacked with feral intensity. The Olinthar, unprepared for such hostility, were quickly overwhelmed. Thalivon managed to activate a defensive shield, repelling the attackers momentarily. We need to retreat, one of the scientists shouted, panic in his voice. Thalivon nodded, his heart heavy with the realization of what humanity had become. Back to the module, quickly! They barely escaped with their lives, the landing module lifting off just as the crazed humans closed in. Safe within the confines of their ship, the Olinthar were left to ponder the grim reality of Earth's fate. Back on the Talrak, Talavan convened an emergency meeting. The crew, shaken and bewildered, looked to their leader for guidance. We must understand what has happened here, Talavan began, his voice steady despite the turmoil within. We cannot abandon this mission without answers. The scientists began analysing data collected during their brief time on the surface. Images and readings painted a bleak picture, rampant environmental destruction, societal collapse, and a population driven to the brink of madness by years of war and deprivation. However, one discovery stood out among the rest, a mutagenic compound in the atmosphere. This mutagen, one scientist explained, appears to have accelerated the evolutionary process, transforming humans into these predatory creatures. It enhances physical strength and aggression, but at the cost of their humanity. Talavon closed his eyes, feeling the weight of this revelation. The Olinthar had come to offer friendship, but now faced a world that barely recognised the concept. We must try to help them, he said softly. 
but we must also protect ourselves. Determined to find a way to aid humanity, Thalivan proposed a new plan. We will establish a secure outpost and attempt to make contact with any remnants of civilization. There must be some who have not succumbed to this madness. The Olinthar set up a fortified camp on the outskirts of the city, using their advanced technology to create a safe zone. From this base, they launched expeditions to gather more information and search for survivors who might be willing to cooperate. Days turned into weeks as the Olinthar combed the ruins of human civilization. They found small pockets of resistance, groups of humans who still held on to a semblance of their former selves, hiding from the cannibalistic hordes that roamed the land. These survivors, wary and distrustful, slowly began to communicate with the aliens, sharing their stories of loss and despair. Televon learned of the cataclysmic wars that had ravaged the planet. Conflicts over dwindling resources that had pushed humanity to the brink. The survivors spoke of factions and warlords, of territories marked by bloodshed and terror. They told tales of loved ones lost to the endless hunger, of communities torn apart by violence and fear. But even as they forged these fragile alliances, the Olinthar noticed disturbing changes in the survivors. The mutagenic compound was spreading its effects becoming more pronounced. Once docile humans began to exhibit signs of increased aggression and strength, their eyes taking on a feral gleam, the Olinthar's efforts to help humanity quickly began to unravel. The survivors they had allied with grew increasingly unpredictable and violent. One night, a group of humans, driven mad by the mutagen, turned on their alien benefactors, attacking the fortified camp from within. The Olinthar were caught off guard. Defensive measures were quickly activated, but the humans' sheer brute force overwhelmed their advanced technology. Talivan and his team fought desperately, but the camp was soon overrun. We have to evacuate, Talivan shouted, his voice barely audible over the chaos. Get to the Tulrak. In the frantic retreat, many Olinthar were killed, their bodies torn apart by the savage humans. Those who made it to the landing module looked back in horror at the once peaceful camp, now a scene of carnage. The landing module rocketed into the sky, heading for the safety of the Talrak. On board, the survivors were silent, the horror of what they had witnessed etched into their faces. As the module docked with the ship, Talivan issued a somber command. Prepare for immediate departure. We must leave this planet. The crew worked quickly but the humans were relentless. They had found a way to breach the outer defences of the Tolrak, swarming over the hull like ants. The ship's advanced weaponry struggled to hold them off, and the hull began to buckle under their assault. We're losing structural integrity, one of the engineers yelled. Increase power to the shields and prepare for emergency warp, Talivon ordered. He watched as more and more humans clambered onto the ship, their eyes glowing with a malevolent light. As the Talrak prepared to leave, the Olinthar made one last, desperate stand. They fought to protect the ship's core systems, buying time for the warp engines to power up. The humans, now monstrous in their appearance and strength, tore through the ship's defences, their hunger insatiable. Talivan himself joined the fray, wielding a plasma weapon with grim determination. He knew that if they didn't leave now, none of them would survive. We're ready, the engineer called out, his voice filled with desperation. Warp in ten seconds. Hold the line, Thalivan shouted, firing at the advancing horde. The countdown seemed to stretch into eternity as the Olinthar fought with everything they had. At the last possible moment, the Talrak's warp engines activated and the ship lurched forward, tearing away from the grasp of the monstrous humans. The crew was thrown to the floor by the sudden acceleration. But they were safe. For now, the ship hurtled through space, leaving the nightmare of Earth behind. Thalivon, bruised and battered, looked around at his surviving crew. They had lost many, but they had escaped. We must warn the galaxy, Thalivon said, his voice heavy with sorrow. Humanity is lost. We cannot let this horror spread. The Talrak continued its journey, but the damage to the ship was extensive. Systems flickered and vital components were failing. The crew worked tirelessly to make repairs, 
their spirits dampened by the grim realisation of what they had left behind. In the ship's medical bay, injured Olinthar were treated for their wounds. The mutagenic compound had left its mark on those who had been in close contact with the humans, causing unsettling changes. Scientists worked around the clock to find a way to reverse the effects, but progress was slow. Talivon spent his days in the command centre, coordinating repair efforts and monitoring the ship's course. The destination was a distant Olinthar colony, a place of refuge where they hoped to find the resources and assistance needed to recover from their ordeal. As the Thalruk traversed the vast expanse of space, the crew struggled to come to terms with the horrors they had witnessed. Nightmares plagued their sleep, visions of feral humans and savage attacks replaying in their minds. Thalivan himself was not immune to these haunting memories. He found solace in his duties, but the weight of their failure to save humanity bore heavily on him. He spent hours poring over data, searching for any clue that might explain the mutagen and how it had brought about such a drastic change in human nature. One day, as Thalivan reviewed the recordings from their time on Earth, he noticed something disturbing. In the background of many scenes, a shadowy figure lurked, watching the chaos with a detached air. It was always just out of focus, but its presence was undeniable. Who or what is that? Talivan mused aloud, drawing the attention of the ship's chief scientist. The scientist studied the recordings, her eyes narrowing in concentration. It appears to be observing, perhaps even orchestrating the events. Could this figure be connected to the mutagen? Driven by this new lead, Talivan and his team delved deeper into the recordings and data. They discovered that the shadowy figure appeared near sites of intense conflict and transformation. Further analysis revealed traces of an unknown energy signature emanating from the figure, unlike anything the Olinthar had encountered before. This energy could be the source of the mutagen, the scientists speculated. If we can understand it, we might find a way to counteract its effects. Talivan felt a renewed sense of purpose then let's focus our efforts on deciphering this energy. If we can find a solution, we might be able to return to Earth and help those who still cling to their humanity. The crew rallied around this glimmer of hope, channeling their fear and grief into a determined pursuit of answers. They reconfigured the ship's sensors to detect the unique energy signature and scoured their data archives for any references to similar phenomena. Weeks turned into months as the Tulrak continued its journey the crew's efforts to understand the mysterious energy yielding slow but steady progress. They identified patterns and anomalies that suggested the energy was not naturally occurring, but artificially generated. Could it be a weapon? Talivon wondered. A tool of war designed to break humanity's spirit and turn them against each other. The scientist nodded thoughtfully. It's possible. If someone or something wanted to ensure humanity's destruction, this would be an effective method. Their research led them to a disturbing conclusion. The energy was not confined to Earth. Traces of it were found in the vicinity of other war-torn planets, suggesting a wider pattern of devastation. We need to find the source, Talivon declared. Whoever is behind this must be stopped before more worlds suffer the same fate. The Talrak sensors finally detected a concentrated source of the mysterious energy in a remote star system. Talivan ordered the ship to change course, heading towards the origin of the signal. As they approached, they found a massive structure orbiting a barren planet. It pulsed with the same energy signature they had been tracking, its design alien and ominous. This must be it, Talivan said, steeling himself for what lay ahead. Prepare for an infiltration mission. We need to shut this down. A team of Olinthar soldiers and scientists, including Thalivon, boarded a shuttle and made their way to the structure. They encountered heavy resistance from automated defences, but their determination and advanced technology saw them through. Inside, they discovered a control room filled with advanced machinery. At its centre stood the shadowy figure from the recordings, its form now fully visible. It was an alien being, its eyes glowing with a sinister light. Who are you? Talivon demanded. Why are you doing this? The figure's voice was cold and devoid of emotion. I am Varnak, a harbinger of chaos. Humanity was but one experiment in my quest to create the ultimate weapon. 
You've destroyed countless lives, Talivon shouted. This ends now. A fierce battle ensued. Varnak wielded the energy with devastating precision, his attacks relentless. The Olinthar fought back with all their might, but they were outmatched. Talavan realized they couldn't win through brute force. We need to disrupt the energy flow, he called to his team. Target the control systems. The scientists quickly identified key points in the machinery. As the soldiers kept Varnak occupied, they worked to overload the systems. Sparks flew, and the structure trembled as the energy destabilized. With a final, desperate effort, Thalavan launched a concentrated blast at Varnak, catching him off guard. The alien staggered, and in that moment, the control systems exploded in a cascade of light and sound. Varnak let out a shriek of rage and pain before disintegrating into nothingness. The structure began to collapse, its foundations crumbling without the stabilizing energy. Back to the shuttle now, Talivon ordered. The shuttle raced away from the collapsing structure, the Olinthar barely making it back to the Thalruk in time. The ship jumped to warp, leaving the sight of their victory behind. Back on the Talruk, the crew assessed the damage. They had stopped Varnak, but the cost had been high. Many of their number were injured or lost, and the ship itself was barely holding together. Talivon stood in the observation deck, gazing at the stars. We have to go back to Earth, he said quietly. If there's any chance of saving humanity, we owe it to them to try. The Talruk limped back to Earth, its crew weary but determined. As they entered the planet's atmosphere, they were greeted by a world still in chaos, but now with a glimmer of hope. The Olinthar began deploying devices designed to neutralize the lingering energy signatures and reverse the effects of the mutagen. It was a slow and arduous process, but pockets of humanity began to show signs of recovery. Talivon and his team worked tirelessly, coordinating efforts and providing aid to those in need. The survivors they had once allied with now looked to the Olinthar with renewed hope. Months passed, and the efforts to restore humanity continued. The Olinthar, though exhausted, refused to give up. They knew that the road to recovery would be long and difficult, but they had taken the first crucial steps. Talivon, standing on the once desolate streets of the metropolis, watched as humans began to rebuild. Children played in the streets, their laughter a stark contrast to the horrors that had once filled the air. We've done it, he said softly. We've given them a chance. The Talrak eventually departed from Earth, its mission of aid and recovery a success. The Olinthar left behind teams to continue the work, ensuring that humanity would have the support it needed to fully recover. As the ship journeyed through the stars once more, Thalavan reflected on their experiences. They had faced unimaginable horrors and emerged stronger for it. The galaxy would never be the same, but the Olinthar had shown that even in the darkest of times, hope could prevail. The stars held many mysteries, but none as profound as the resilience of the human spirit. And so, the Thalruk continued its journey a beacon of hope and caution in a galaxy filled with both wonder and terror.